Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to episode three. I was not going to actually record this today. Uh, as you know, a lot of times when we record these uh, videos, uh, we record multiple videos in the same day. Uh, that way we've got some done, you know, for future postings uh, onto our channels. Uh, I was actually going to hold this one off because I try not to have more than about four or five to where everything's still kind of fresh for me. But um, in this case, uh, I was just so excited about uh, trading for Hank Aaron last episode uh, that I had to come back and see how he did. So we're going to do one sim uh, with him uh, to see how he gets off to his start. Uh, and we are going to go ahead and sim Freddie Patek day to day. We're going to go ahead and play through that. Oh, my God. I guess at 42, you probably shouldn't be running around the outfield like that every day. Six weeks with a strained MCL. Oh, man. Uh, status. Moderate running. Yeah, so we're going to have to... Oh, man. His morale was very good. How did he do? He Oh, my gosh. Look at this. He was hitting 778. Seven hits in his first nine at-bats. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Maybe I need to activate the DH and call it the Hank Aaron rule. Oh, no home runs, but... A 778 batting average in his first four games before he gets hurt. Um, it's only affecting his running, which wasn't real good to begin with. You know what? I'm going to let him ride it out. Keep playing, Hank. Go for it. And if he gets hurt really bad, so be it. All right, he dropped down to 412. No hits in his last seven at-bats. All right, so, you know, he's of course, he's not hitting any home runs, so he's probably having to beat out a lot of singles, and that's hurting him a lot. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to cons I'm gonna have to contemplate that. Um, oh, man. 778, was that nice or what? Uh, let's see. John Montefusco. Dave McNally down for the season. 33-year-old pitcher. Uh, torn labrum, and he is done. He was 0-2 with a 438 ERA. Jerry Koosman. Fred Norman. Hank Aaron. Daryl Porter on the DL, three to four weeks. He just looks so funny not being in a Kansas City uniform. Don Gullett. Pittsburgh and the Mets make a trade. Toby Hara, player of the week again. Dave Winfield. Um... If you're not familiar with Dave Winfield, you're probably younger, and that's okay, but you're probably very familiar with LeBron James and Kobe Bryant uh, in the NBA, how they came to the pros straight out of high school. In baseball, it is typical that you can be drafted out of high school, but you typically will spend many, many seasons in the minor leagues developing your skills to be able to play at the major league level. Uh, Winfield actually came straight to the major leagues with the Padres and started as a, let's see, I mean, he started as a 22-year-old. Um, I don't know that he spent any time in the minors at all, uh, from what I recall when he came out of, when he came out. Um I'm pretty sure he skipped college. Um, 
yeah, it doesn't have anything. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that was what his background was, that he, he was like LeBron James. He came straight to the major leagues, and you just don't hear of that uh, ever in baseball. Um, does not happen very often. Uh, the Mets are at the top. We are sliding and badly. So that does not bode well. Must mean we had a bad week. And, oh, wow, we went four and six and went from the top to the bottom. Two and a half games back, way out in the wild card. Not playing well. Offense is middle of the road. Bullpen has... Pitching rotation has fallen apart. Oh, that's disheartening. Uh, Bryles. Hrabowski. Suter. Lacey. Hank Aaron. All right. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take, now, even with him injured, okay, where I set Hank to start at left field, if you don't take that off, even though he's injured, it will force him to play there. So you just come back in and you change it to none, and you'll notice it's no longer appearing in red text. See, Hal is listed here. Um... And so what I can do is go to him, and I can undo that as well. And then we'll come back over here. And that should... Left and right, he's equal. Fairly, he's equal. Yeah, that's fine. Um... So Aaron is going to now come off the bench and be a bat. What happened to... Uh... What happened to my other catcher? Oh, that's the guy that I traded. Oh, I need to fix that. Um, you know what, Hank, I'm going to put you on the DL, sorry, and I will call up, who am I going to call up? I'm going to go ahead and call up, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call up Craig Perkins. And you know what? We're almost at the end of the month. So let me go ahead and move. I typically do these moves once a month. Uh, the moves from double A to single A and whatnot. All right, Jack, we're going to send up. Steve Trout's 2-0 with a 4.20 ERA. Jack went 1-1 with a 2.7. So we're going to send him up, get him a couple of starts at double A. It says he's still ready to move up, but, you know, I, I want to make sure. And then... Mike Larkin, Mark Littell, yeah, you know what, I think, Mark Wiley, Mark Littell, let's do that. All 
right, so they readjust Busby and Patton here. Mark Littell goes to a setup role. It's using the stopper as a default because that's the era. They didn't have a closer's role then. You were just considered a stopper if you needed to stop the other team. Um, similar, but a, you know, a little differently. Freddie Patek, day to day, for one more day. All right, that puts. And we did make some moves here, so we'll straighten up all the rotations and batting orders. So bear with me while I run through these screens. All right, so Steve Trout is now number one, again, because I have him hard-coded to be a, a starter. Lacey, 371, Mayberry with four homers, and Lacey with 14 RBIs, three home runs. So he's playing really well. He has really panned out. And let's see. We are averaging 26750 for the month. We actually got up to 30000 here in the last game, which is where our boss wants us to be for the year. I've got $4.2 million for extensions. That's good. All right, so let's look at salaries. All right, Brett's already done, Aaron. Aaron's going to be a one and done, I think. Split tour if I want to re-sign. He's currently at 176. 220, can I get him 10,000 cheaper? All right, Doug Bird. Boy, I like him. And you know, I think he's going to I think he's going to bounce back. I'm going to wait, though, to really see later in the year. Al Fitzmorris, Staggs. He's making 105. All right, well. So he wouldn't negotiate on his salary. Del Canton, Mingori, Mallory. Thirty thousand. Let me see if I can sign you to two years at that deal. At eighty eight thousand. Littell, I just called him up. So he's at twenty four. Let me sign you to a two year deal if I can. Roop I'll look at later. Craig Perkins. Yeah, I need to extend him. Let's see if I'll do three years with you. Stinson, Gates. See, Gates is just going to get a little bit better. And he's basically a utility guy. So I won't pay a ton for him. But if I could get him reasonably cheap, and I'll do year to year with him, that's fine.
All right, so that gives me a bunch of guys extended. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go to next week. Well, let's go to finish out the month first. All right, we're not to the, those are all contracts, so we'll, we'll just finish. There we are. All right, so let's see. Mark Littell signs. Paul Splitorf signs. Don Baylor selected the AL batter of the month. Richie Zisk, the NL batter of the month. Phil Necro of the Yankees. Pitcher of the Month, Don Gullett, National League, Butch Alberts of the Angels, and Mike Kukro of the Astros, Rookies of the Month. All right. Three and seven, so we're struggling, struggling. Let's see what we're doing here. Still just not hitting very well. Bullpen has started to really struggle. Bird and Dow Canton not doing well at all. Willie Wilson hitting 267 in double A. Jack Morris 1 0 in his first start with a complete game at double A. boy um, free agents I mean we're fourth in payroll already so I really don't want to go too crazy hmm. all right well at the break Leonard is one and two with a three oh five, three and one for Bryles. Busby's two and two. Patton looking for his first win of the season. Splitorf's pitching well. Patek hitting three oh nine. Lacey three thirty three with three homers. Brett three twenty three, no home runs. Hal McRae three twenty two. Mayberry, even though he's leading the team with four homers. Only hitting a buck eighty one. Wow. I just think he should. Well, definitely better against righties than lefties. I mean, that's his blended, so he should still hit higher against lefties than he is. And righties, I think he should be tearing them up. <laughs> Not making a lot of sense. But yeah, that's going to be, I mean, a hundred, another 100 point drop off. That's going to be uh, unacceptable. We are projecting almost 6.9 million in projected revenue, which would be... Right now, we're already looking at $2 million to the good. We're still trending up in that 26, 
27,000 uh, attendance range. All right, let's do till next week, which will get us a couple of days. Ron Fairley, a strained hamstring. Hal McRae is injured. Six weeks, moderate running. Now with with uh, with our catcher last year, that wasn't a big deal. Our outfield guys, that's a much bigger issue. He's hitting 243. Uh, 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 uh. All right, Dennis uh, actually had a shutout. Tanana gets into the news again, three and two with a 0 0.91 ERA. Nothing wrong with that. Um, wow. And it's going to really depend on how McRae is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do to next week, but it should stop it with the injury diagnosis. There it is. Four days, sore hamstring. All right, so... Fairly's for five to six weeks. McRae is for four days. Okay, so if tired and if tired. And then we'll put... Uh, Fairly and McRae coming off the bench. There we go. We'll finish out the week. Personal message. All right, Mallory and Staggs sign. McRae we had already seen. AL Player of the Week, George Orta. And George Foster. There we are. We're up a little bit to number 13. I always kind of use that as an indicator of what kind of week we might have had. Five and five, two game win streak, three way tie for second place. The Twins out to a three game lead the Reds have overtaken the Astros with a nine and one run Pittsburgh and the Mets still dogging it out there the Yankees go eight and two and they have jumped up as Baltimore has fizzled a little bit oh man let's see Pitching starting to come around a little bit. Still not seeing a whole lot on the hitting front. Although we are up to fourth in batting average, but that's not saying a whole lot. And I think we got time for one more week in this episode. Personal message, a signed contract. Three days, that's fine. All right. Tom Seaver with a shutout. J.R. Richards with a shutout. Rico Cardi possibly on the trade block. Fred Lynn and Cesar Geronimo. Sorry about that. Daryl Porter, another setback. Rookie pitching leaders, nobody on our board.
power rankings. Where I'm overlooking us here. Where are we? Kansas. There we are. Down double. So we had another bad week. Another bad week. That's fabulous. Four and six. Three game losing streak. You know what we have not looked at here in a while? Let's go back to the schedule. All right, so we were starting to, yeah, this is where we left off. So we got swept by the Twins, dropped two out of three, uh, split a four-game series, took two out of three against Detroit, took two out of three with the Yankees, got swept by the Sox. Oh, man. Yeah, Boston's 9-1 and one, riding a nine-game win streak, so we're not the only team they beat up on last week. We're still three back. Texas and Oakland did a little bit better, and uh, well, actually Minnesota and Texas did better, and all those teams are within a game now. Cincinnati wins nine in a row again, and they have opened up a four-game lead over the Astros. Paul Splitorf with a 1.15 ERA to make the leaderboard there. Jim Rice, 347, 8 homers, 28 RBIs on all three leaderboards. Brett finally got a, his first homer of the season. Ortenzio's hitting under a, a 100, filling in for... McRae in the outfield, which we should be able to fix that now. Let's go take a look at that. All right, so McRae is back to full strength. Ron Fairley still on the shelf. All right, well, that gets McRae back in the outfield. Um, I'm going to have to still keep Mallory in on that side. He's hitting 200. No great shakes, but... Mallory. And then Fairley will be our guy right there. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and put a cut in there, guys. Uh, so we have uh, gotten into the early part of May, and the Royals are struggling this season. Just can't seem to put it on together on the field. Uh, we don't look much different on paper. Um, you know, I thought Fairley would be a improvement for us in the outfield and then Aaron I thought you know might be at least interesting if nothing else so I'm interested for him to get back in a few weeks how many weeks out is he by the way disabled list three to four weeks still injury time so yeah we've got you know we've got a little time for him to come back still uh, which means the season that we have is, you know, going to be close to half over uh, before he really gets to make an impact for us, if he can. Fran Healy, 272. So I don't know, maybe I need to call him back up. Stinson's hitting 200. Perkins is hitting 100. So that's not good. Yeah, I'm going to demote him, bring Healy back up. And I think maybe. What if I make Healy a force starter at catcher? Maybe. There we go. Uh, Mallory 
I want you starting in left field for right now, so we'll we'll do that. Actually, is McRae. Yeah, he's not bad. Actually, you know what? I do want to editor and I want to make him left field. That's how you change here. And Mallory, then I will do. Yeah, he's a liability in right field, though. Wow. All right, that uh, that gets us looking right, I think. Yep, I think we're looking good right there. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and call that a cut uh, for this episode, and uh, we will see you in the next episode. Take care, guys. Thanks for checking out the videos.